Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Fabulites. This is Angela with another edition of Notes on the News Feed. Just getting back in town, um, had to go out of town for a funeral and, you know, so things are a little backed up, but we're working to move forward. Um, so thank you for, for sticking around and um, tuning in to Notes on the News Feed where I share with you headlines from the news my news feed and i might share with you my thoughts on them based on having read the entire article being an expert on the subject or just having read the headline all right let us proceed um just try keeping up with phyllis judkins the 70 year old north end resident who does everything north end is a, a neighborhood in detroit they say it's not a new neighborhood but i never heard of it till i came back but yeah when i'm 70 80 90 100 i want to still be on the move active 120 110 engaged you know physically fit how about you mentally fit emotionally fit churches as business incubators in some detroit neighborhoods absolutely <laughs> Inside the plaza, formerly known as the Hammer and Nail Building in Midtown. I know that building because it had a hammer and nail on the side. I think I went in there once for some kind of medical appointment, but I can't remember now. Take a Knee comes to Germany through Hertha Solidarity. What is Hertha? Take a Knee comes to Germany. That's pretty interesting. I want to read that article. All of the articles or links to the articles should be on my Twitter page, Be Fabulous You, B E F A B U L O U S Y O U. I don't always get them there immediately, but you know, within a, a couple few days, a couple few hours, a couple few minutes, I get them there as soon as I can and I said what I said. Cop suspended after tossing. Teen girls by hair outside high school. Five men arrested after case in 1983 murder of black man is reordered, reopened, reopened. I can't remember his name, but I did see his name. A letter from Frederick Douglass to Harriet Tubman. Ooh, that looks interesting. After claiming... 12 white, blue-eyed, blonde men can be diverse. Applehead apologizes. I'm not really sure what the issue is. I mean, I guess it depends on what type of diversity you're talking about. They could be geographically diverse. They could be diverse in terms, terms of the types of pets they have. They could be diverse in terms of specifically where they went to school. Um... I mean, they could be diverse in some ways, I guess, but they're probably not ethnically diverse, culturally diverse, uh, gender. They're definitely not diverse gender wise or ethnicity, culture, color, um, hair color, eye color. So anyway, this is going to tie into an art, another headline that we'll talk about earlier. But I think in general, you know. For the most part, rich white men with property and power feel like things are going well. They're, why do we need to change things? Why do we need more diversity? Why do we need more women? Why do we need people, anybody other than rich white men with property and power? Things are going well. Sessions sends hate crimes prosecutor in death of black trans teen. That's a surprise. I wonder what's really going on. 12 artists collaborate to decorate downtown Las Vegas with murals, and the result is amazing. I love outdoor artwork, artwork public artwork, murals, stuff like that, especially when it's a variety of them. So if you don't like one, it's another one to look at. It just seems interesting to me. I don't think, you know, like there's this one community. I have this um, coffee table book, but it's this one um, area in maybe West Africa, but it could be Easter. I don't know where it is in Africa, but the women like paint the houses, you know, like usually it's like in earth tones, like brown and tans and you know they paint paint patterns and designs and they're personalized and it's amazing to me how more houses and cars aren't personalized so I'm all for you know the more personalization and vibration and energy and you know that's out there the better as far as I'm concerned NFL owners meet with racial divide on the agenda they wasn't meeting about the racial divide before it wasn't on the agenda before, and it's been issues 
50, 100, 200, 300, 400 years. Lessons from Catalonia. I clicked on that article because all of the imagery that I've seen from Spain and Catalonia has looked to me like white folks. And this was like four men, black men, unambiguously black. Like they were not light skinned. They were like my color or darker. So I was kind of like, are these supposed to be Spaniards? Are, are there black people in Spain? But they were talking about how Catalonia is influencing different communities and different countries in Africa. That's what the first line was talking about. So I guess those men were supposed to represent men from um, African countries. <clears throat> a, a huge chunk of men who rule corporate America would prefer if everyone focused less on diversity. So they did surveys, is what I was talking about earlier. They did surveys, and the men, is there enough diversity? The men were like, yes. The women were like, no. So like the percentage of men who thought, yes, there's enough diversity was like 80%. The percentage of women who felt that there was enough diversity was like 8% or whatever. Don't quote me on the statistics. But the idea is that they felt the the rich white men with property and power, as we mentioned earlier, feel everything is going well. Let's keep this going. Shoot. Duplicate me. We need more me. That's what they're saying. Lucy L. Dean Gonzalez Parsons, labor organizer, anarchist communist, radical socialist. All of those, um, <coughs> you know, descriptors after the name sound interesting. The name sound in the name itself sounds interesting. Lucy L. Dean Gonzalez Parsons makes me want to like, I've never heard of this person. Who is this person? What are they about? What did they think? What did they believe? After fires kill 40 Portugal, Portugal, Spain, get a little relief from the rain. Maybe it's supposed to be a comma after. Um, but anyway, so 40 people have been killed in wildfires last I heard um, in Europe. What's going on in California? Georgia mom kills rest in peace um, folks who are dying in wildfires or whatever. Georgia mom kills her two toddlers by placing them in the oven. They say she put the children in the oven and turned the oven on and the children died. That sounds like some crazy mental health stuff to me. I don't know what that's about, but poor babies and rest in peace. Florida declares state of emergency ahead of white nationalist speech. Is it Spencer that's coming? I don't know. African Leadership University, never heard of African Leadership University, is decolonizing higher education in Africa. Never heard of African Leadership University. Trevor Noah probes Chicago murder rate to kick off the daily show, Windy City Week. Jennifer Lawrence says a producer put her in a nude lineup and told her to lose 15 pounds in two weeks. I was just imagining like Harvey Weinstein or, you know, any of these, I don't know who the other, I don't have visuals for a lot of these other producers, but can you imagine somebody making them stand nude and telling them to lose weight and how much to lose, how soon? The people do some crazy stuff. We are all in words. Um, that's what high schoolers pose for a controversial photo say, and they say that they wanted to show support for Black Lives Matters. Matter, matter, Black Lives Matter. So it was in, you know, the group was not just white people, it was black people. And it looked to be about like maybe 10 or 15 people. I didn't look closely at the photo, but from the image, the, there was one black person who, or person whose skin was very, 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 very brown, highly melanated, who I could see just looking at the little small picture. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be like, you know, when people use like slut walk, like, or slut, like, you know, to, to, to be like, we're reclaiming, we're having a slut walk to support women. All women, you know, should be free to be free without having to worry about violence perpetuated against them. When violence is perpetuated against women, you know, it is not proper for us to be like, well, what was she wearing? Well, where was she at? Why did she do this? Why was she drinking? You know, we should be questioning and haranguing and harassing someone who has raped someone, not someone who has experienced being raped. 
Um, so maybe they were trying to, you know, um, you know, use the N word to, you know, show, hey, we're all, you know, like, you know, don't, I don't, I don't know. But anyway, it just, yeah, it's the opposite of respectability politics. When I first read the headline, I'm like, that's not sincere. They talking about they did that to show that all that black lives matter. But when I started looking, I didn't get a chance to read the whole article. But when I started looking at it, I'm like, well, you know, maybe they are trying to be sincere. I don't know. It's so hard to know, you know, anybody's heart. And it just seems like the world just seems really, really crazy sometimes, doesn't it? Like, off, you know, like, I would never do that. I just, that just sounds like a ridiculous choice to me. But I. And I don't know. I don't know. It's just this world is something. You don't know whether people are for you or against you. And, you know, there are so many different layers of information and layers. And, you know, it's just a lot going on in the world. Facebook just bought TBH, an app teens are obsessed with that's at the top of the app store. Here's how it works. I don't know nothing about TBH. Is that, to be honest, that's where you can give people, like, um, you know, honest feedback anonymously? It's hard keeping up with these children. I, well, I don't even, I'm surely not keeping up, but it's every day is something new you're hearing about. I think I had heard about TBH before, though. Netflix plans to release 80 original films in 2018, and some huge names are on board. Why today's Google Doodle is dedicated to legendary Mexican-American singer Selena. Rest in peace, Mama Selena. The three most popular majors at every Ivy League school. A top economist just put the fight against poverty in stunning perspective. I think they said that extreme poverty is going down by 157,000 every day and has been since, I don't know. But it was sort of, I mean, a little bit. I just clicked on the article for a second. But it was sort of encouraging. Like, okay, maybe things aren't as bad and depressing and jacked up as they seem. Um, Portugal and Spain wildfires, death toll soars to dozens. We talked about that earlier. Taking a knee spreads to college campus cheerleaders. I think a campus, a, a college student cheerleader um, took a knee last year. But anyway, Colin Kaepernick accuses NFL owners of collusion and grievance. So he's suing them. Activist Tamika Mallory kicked off flight was disrespected by pilot. Lisa Wilkinson, top Australian presenter, quits an equal pay role. Liv Tyler joins Hulu drama Harlots as series regular for season two. Harlots is coming back. I guess I like Harlots. I think I'm all caught up, caught up on those reviews for Harlots. <laughs> I still have to do the last one for... Um, Handmaid's Tale, but what I decided to do, if anybody is interested in the update, is to um, roll it into next season when it comes back on. I'm going to do my finale for last season and like, yay, what's coming up for this season? Um, France Minister Schiappa plans anti-street harassment law. Macy's is kicking off Black Friday on Thanksgiving Day. On Thanksgiving Day at 5 o'clock. Macy's is kicking off Black Friday on Thursday, Thanksgiving. And they did it last year as well, I believe. Drone hits commercial plane for the first time in Canada. These drones are out here doing the most, aren't they? Obama chooses rising painters to craft their official portraits, Obama's. So um, a, lay, a woman was chosen to do... Um, Michelle Michelle Obama's portrait and a man was chosen to do um 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 Barack Obama's portrait and the man I've seen his work there was a Pete there was a show that came through the DIA called 100 Americans or something like that and so that's when I first got introduced I think his name is Kahimbe or something like that and I really wanted to go to Ohio to see a show because he was doing a solo show in Ohio but I didn't make it for that um, and the other woman I didn't know but she had won some award so that's exciting um 
October 15, 1987, President Thomas Sankara assassinated. Robert E. Lee High School name change brings students to cheers. So they're calling it Lee, L, capital L, period, capital E, period, capital E, period. Like leadership, encouragement, education. It's a, this Lee, it's an acronym for something about leadership and education. Maybe leadership and educational excellence or something like that. I didn't so much care for keeping the Lee. But I guess people are used to calling it Lee. But yeah, I mean, I guess that's good. That I, don't, I think that there were people who cried in joy and people who cried in anger. Morgan Freeman shares his approach to discipline that keeps him working at age 80. And it has something to do with military upbringing or something like that. The black community must come to terms with the problem of bullying. Six people from around the world share what it's like to have nationally mandated work vacation. You must go on vacation for four weeks. You must go on vacation for six weeks. In this country, it's like if you go away some places for four minutes, four seconds, they act like, you know, you're like the worst person in the world. National Guards woman says she'll continue to stand tall after being chased down, called a racial slur. The costs to flight to fight the deadly wildfires in the West are spiraling out of control. Um, I heard this weekend that someone who's going to um, Houston to work is getting paid $2,500 a week. And I don't really know quite what they're doing. So, but that was like, wow, that's, that's, um, you know, I didn't think that disaster relief workers got that kind of money, but I don't know. Um, manip manipulative people brainwash their partners using something called perspecticide. Here are the signs it's happening to you where you lose your perspective. They kill your perspective. Parents sue after teacher threatens to hang their son. Who does that? <laughs> I can't imagine working with the work I've done with children in what context do you threaten to hang someone's child? How? how that work? We visited the posh English preschool in Manhattan where manners are paramount and four-year-olds eat off of China. I think it has some connection to the British royal family as well. And I, did I read it was $35,000 a year? This is for preschool for four-year-olds, five-year-olds, six-year-olds, I guess. Yep. Education, the burning desire of freedmen and slaves, or as I like to say, enslaved people. Branding of slaves, brutal act used for identification purposes and severe punishment. The branding of enslaved people, I like to say. Puerto Rico stands on the brink of a massive liquidity crisis that will intensify. Kyrgyzstan election, Surabai Jinbekov wins historic election. I think that this was like, I'm so confused about Russia, the Soviet Union. I think this was in what was formerly the Soviet Union, but I'm not sure. At least 276 dead from powerful bomb blast in Somalia's capital in deadliest single attack ever. I've been out of the loop. Have people been talking about this? 276 people dead. Rest in peace. I'm so sorry. Um, is this big news or is it not news because it was in Somalia? I mean, I don't know. Why does Catalonia want independence? People usually like it when the government influences what to do, according to study. So I'm going to stop now. Um, I got to sneeze. And, you know, I'm going to do an in case you missed it edition because some of this stuff is probably older. Some of the stuff I talked about right now is older. But that's what I got. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, being here. Today is the best day ever. You are the greatest. You're number one. And remember, fabulous. Be you. Be fabulous. Be fabulous, you. Be you. Be fabulous. Be fabulous, you. Woohoo! Be you. Be fabulous.